Over recent days, the Daily Mail has splashed its front pages about the Labour deputy leader, her husband, Shadow Minister Jack Dromey, and the former Labour Health Secretary, Patricia Hewitt. All three worked for the National Council for Civil Liberties in the 1970s and 80s. The council, now known as the human rights organisation Liberty, was linked to the Paedophile Information Exchange, a group which campaigned for paedophiles' rights. It even argued to lower the age of consent to 10. Ms Harmon became the legal officer at the NCCL in 1978, and her name appears on documents submitted to the Home Office that argued that pictures of naked children should not be banned as indecent unless it could be proved that the child had been harmed. But now, after days of demands from the Mail and other newspapers for Hewitt, Dromey and Harmon to provide answers, the Labour deputy leader has decided to break her silence. All right, Harmon, you were the legal officer for several years at the National Council for Civil Liberties, which was affiliated to the Paedophile Information Exchange. Basically, NCCL was an organisation which had something like 6,000 members and 1,000 affiliates. But why was it acceptable even to have an affiliation? They didn't try to hide what they were. The title of the group was the Paedophile Information Exchange. Why was it OK for them even to have any link with the group you worked for? Any individual who wanted to pay their money to join NCCL could, and any organisation could join and affiliate to it. An affiliation is an official link. And when you were the legal officer at the National Council for Civil Liberties, did you do anything to suggest that link should be broken? Did you do anything to try to push them away from your organisation? The policy was set by the broad membership of NCCL at their general, annual general meeting. At the time when you were the legal, there, legal officer there, you wrote in a briefing paper to MPs, and we have it here, that prosecutions in relation to child protection and photography should only proceed if you can prove that children were actually harmed. Can you see why people might raise an eyebrow? Was the affiliation between the two groups a mistake? Well, NCCL takes money from any organisation which was a lawful organisation and any individual. You are happy that your employer, employer for four years took membership money from a group that was overtly campaigning for the rights of paedophiles. That wasn't a mistake. That's what you're saying. You know, I, I stand by what I was doing at NCCL and I stand by what I've done all the way through.